What's up, y'all? What's the deal? What's the deal? I'm pretty sure y'all heard about the Wilder arbitrary case and um, him potentially getting a, a third shot at Fury. Um, you know, being level, you know, being in the middle, being neutral and stuff like this, I think it's, uh, I think it's, you know, look, it's simple. From Wilder's perspective, if you're a Wilder fan, if you're in a Wilder clan, this is huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is huge. Why not go? Why not go and get the third fight? You know what I mean? Um. So you look at it. I, I look at it two ways. I'm kind of like, yo, you know, for Wilder, cool, go get it. Why not? But the other half of me, my heart was kind of set on Fury versus Joshua. I wanted to see what 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 what, what transpired with that. Um. I was excited about that one, man. I wanted to see how Joshua would handle that. I think that's a tough fight. I think that's a tough fight for Fury too, but I think that's a I think that's a tough fight for Joshua, man. That 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 height, that height and that skill. When you when 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 you add that skill with that height, that six foot nine frame, you know, along with that along with that boxing ability, and he proved he got a hell of a chin. You know what I'm saying? And he can move pretty good. It's a tough fight, man. Fury is a tough fight, man, for, for anybody. I mean, Joshua and Wilder are too, but I think if you had to pick, I think if you had to pick, man, you know, Fury is probably the, 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 the toughest heavyweight in the world to beat. You know what I mean? It's, 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 a, it's a tough situation. On one hand, I'm like, congratulations to Wilder for getting the third fight. I commend you, man. Like, that's huge. Go and try to... Go and try to get rep, you know retribution for, for what happened. Other hand, I'm like, damn, Joshua, you know what I'm saying? Like, that sucks. Like that that was that was a good look for you. That was a good look for Joshua. And you know, a lot of people saying that, you know, Joshua Fury will never happen now. And that's just that's that's a that's a possibility, but I think it will. I think I think they'll fight, man, because and the reason I think they will fight is because they're both Englishmen. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is this is this is probably the biggest fight in in, in English heavyweight history. Fury versus Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Now Fury goes out and he gets flattened by Wilder in the, in the third fight. Of course, it's going to diminish that a little bit, but still, that's a huge fight out there, man. That's a huge fight worldwide for the whole boxing community. I think. Um, it's a fortunate situation and it's an unfortunate situation. It's crazy, man. Heart was set on Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Then this happened, and I'm like, yo, you know, it's unfortunate, but I kind of, I kind of, you know, can't hate on where Wilder's coming from. Wilder's like, yo, man, I want, I want in on this, man. I want, I want retribution. It's, it's, it's a uh, man. It's one of them. It's one of them. It's one of them things, man. Um, yeah, bro. Third fight, though, man third fight between Fury and Wilder Wilder's getting Wilder's working he's working on some things he's at, he's trying to add some new dimensions to his game with Malik Scott Malik Scott is a pure boxer if y'all don't know who Malik Scott is do your do your history Malik Scott um they used to call him Mr. 8072 <laughs> cause he used to he used to just like he used to just wipe the floor with guys as far as like boxing he didn't have a lot of power but Malik Scott was one of the better pure boxers in the heavyweight division I've seen in the last couple of years. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's going to, he, you know, I mean, he's already helping Wilder with, 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 with some stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, having a huge right hand is, is awesome, but you want to add some more dimensions to your game. Um, could it potentially be, you know, can't teach your old dog new tricks? Situation with Wilder? Maybe. We got to see. Most likely because that's that's usually the case in boxing, right? You know what I'm saying? Like that's usually the case. But um, he's very athletic. He has a he has a he's he's explosive. He has a really good right hand. But I favor Fury in the third fight. Yes, early super early prediction. If if the whole arbitrary case comes through for Wilder, would I favor Fury in that fight? Yeah. 
But, um, yo, man, Wilder's coming in with, like, nothing to lose. Like, <laughs> I mean, he, he got, well, I can't say that. I can't say he's, he's coming in with nothing to lose. I take that back. But he's coming in, like, ears peeled back, like, yo, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving this everything. Like, yo, I gotta, re I gotta, I gotta come for redemption. I gotta, I gotta clear my name. Like, you embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? It's going down, man. It's tough. I feel, you know, if this goes through, I feel bad for Joshua. As far as um, you know, him getting that Fury fight, because I know he really wanted that fight. I'm sure he really wanted that fight. That's a huge look for him. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, all of this stuff works out, man, and all of these guys can fight each other. Hopefully, Wilder and Joshua can fight each other at some point. I want to see that as well. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, it all works itself out, man. Um, yeah, man. I just want everybody to win. I want the fighters to win. I want the boxers to win. I want everybody to win. Let me know what y'all think.